The model that put the Lexus brand on the map is getting its fifth generation. The 2023 Lexus RX is here. It has a new platform, a very bold new look, a bunch of available powertrains, and a very attractive interior upgrade. And in this video, I wanna share with you everything you need to know about this all new Lexus RX. Let's start with the bold new design first because this fifth generation Lexus RX is a stunning crossover. It rides on the new GAK platform, which is almost 200 pounds lighter than the previous generation. It's also a more rigid structure and has a wheelbase that's 2.36 inches longer while maintaining the same overall length. Design-wise, this new RX has a fresh take on the Lexus spindle grille. It doesn't look like the traditional spindle or an hourglass at all. Above the Lexus logo, you find a new chiseled nose, whereas the rest of the grille is very large, a common trait on these Lexus cars. Now, this might just be me talking, but I think Lexus is trying to make this RX look like an electric vehicle, which typically has a semi-closed grille. The headlights on the RX carries on the brand signature. You find the typical three cluster LED projectors and also the Lexus L-shaped or checkmark daytime running lights. This is the same design principle that you can find in the new Lexus IS, UX, NX, and also the new LX600. If you wanna see any of those videos, make sure to check out the links in the description. Now looking from the side, this new Lexus RX looks more like a beefy wagon than a typical clumsy crossover. The dominating sweeping character line and floating roof returns to the fifth generation, while color matched over fenders and big wheel options give the Lexus a more wide and powerful stance. At the rear, the RX gets another new Lexus signature, the single light bar design with the word Lexus spelled out. There will be several different trims for the RX and depending on which one you get, there will be unique front and rear bumper designs. The base RX350 will receive the standard front and rear bumper, while the top of the line RX500H will get the more intricate and more sporty looking design. More on these trims a bit later at the end of the video. Moving inside, the RX gets a fresh new look too. The best change in this car is the new Lexus infotainment system. They finally chucked away the awful touchpad design and the cluttered user interface and introduced a system that is much more streamlined, easier to use, and most importantly, less distracting. This infotainment system will be displayed on an available 14 inch touchscreen. Now looking ahead, the instrument cluster gets a nice digital refresh. And there's also an available heads up display and a new steering wheel design. I got a chance to review these new steering wheel controls and the new heads up display in the new Lexus NX. And in my opinion, this is an awesome and super intuitive way of controlling the heads up display. And I'm very excited to see this in the new Lexus RX. Sitting inside, you'll also find some generous ambient lighting and various creature comforts like the available panoramic glass roof, more rear passenger legroom, and increased cargo space with lower loading height. In the power department, the new RX have a bunch of new powertrains. Starting with the base RX350, it comes with either front wheel drive or all wheel drive, and it's powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, which is rated at 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque at the crank. And that engine will be attached to an eight speed automatic transmission, producing an estimated 24 miles per gallon. You can also expect a zero to 60 time of seven and a half seconds for the front wheel drive version and 7.2 seconds for the all wheel drive version. There's also a hybrid, which will be an all wheel drive only. The hybrid will be powered by a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine, producing 246 horsepower and 233 pound feet of torque. With the hybrid's continuously variable transmission, you can expect 33 miles per gallon and a zero to 60 time of 7.4 seconds. In the near future, you can also expect a plug-in hybrid version, which will have the RX450H Plus name. No details on that yet, but if it will be anything like the RAV4 Prime plug-in hybrid, I think we can expect pretty exciting things from that powertrain. But topping off the RX lineup is the RX 500H F Sport Performance Grade. And this has a brand new hybrid electric system for the Lexus family. 
The front axle will be powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that has an inverter, an electric motor, and a six speed automatic transmission. While the rear end has an E axle unit that has an electric motor, an inverter, and a reduction gearbox. This new drivetrain is what Lexus calls the direct for all wheel drive. We won't know what this is like to drive until we get behind the wheel in the near future, but we can guess, judging by the model six piston brake caliper, the 367 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque engine, and also the zero to 60 time of 5.9 seconds, that this will be the one that's most exciting to drive. So that's the all new fifth generation Lexus RX. It will be available as a 2023 model and go on sale at the end of 2022. It will be offered in six grades, standard, premium, RX first, premium plus, luxury, F-Sport handling, and RX first, F-Sport performance. What a mouthful. For more information on the Lexus RX and driving impressions, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so you can see it first on our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.